Ja. Ja. Go ahead, you're on. It's a whisper in the background. Of this. Doing, doing a uh, the show business trip on me. All right. Thanks very much. Well, I think he cut himself off before me. So we get these. Hello? Okie dokie. I, I hope this is some sort of a new trend here. Hello? Mr. Morrison, I just got to say that you are quite possibly one of the most fascinating people on public access Boy. television. Well, public access, well, you had to limit it quite a bit. Oh, well, um, I, you know, I'm just wondering, is there any way you can get uh, previous episodes on DVD or VHS or something? Because, wow, yeah. Well, thanks very much. No, there isn't anything, uh, because that's not the way that I work for success. That's why I'm here and, and doing this. That's the, even allowed to. You know, if I was successful, first of all, would I th be thinking like this? No. So I'm trapped somewhat. Uh, I would have to be forced into it with just a little pull on the little finger, you know, by somebody that could make this uh, an arrangement where I would be heard on a, on, a, on a basis other than public access. Of course I would like that. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Yes, but you better would with an ego uh, that, that would like to uh, present itself on the best of platform like a Picasso in front of his, uh, after having put in 30 years worth of work in front of, of where he wants to work in the finest of studio and he's already making millions of dollars with, with two mistresses on the side. That, that, that's what you think about. It isn't really even... Uh, what do they call it when you're not thinking clearly about yourself? Delusional? It's not that. It, delusional is actor or is actoral anyway. Everybody, you, you must be delusional. I mean, don't you think? Uh, if you accept yourself as what uh, a mother or a father, a housewife, or or or, or a working or a non-working or a, or a drinking or an alcoholic in your family, I mean, however you treat yourself is is uh, now I'm getting off on tangent. Very frankly, I I want I think I was trying to be be rational there, for a moment. Well, I just want to say, big fan, and keep up the good fight. Thanks very much. Right. Keep up the good fight. Yeah. Well. Hmm. That's. Yeah. Well, keep up the good fight. You do it in your own way. You know. Hi. Hey, man. Calm the fuck down, bro. It's only the end of the world. What's the big deal? <laughs> Get in soon. We'll all be happy one day, Mr. Morrison. Till then. Keep the sunshine on your side of the street, brother. <laughs> okay, thanks very much. Yeah, well, well that, that's good advice. Uh, I'm not that, uh, that that depressed as I might look, or uh, do I, am I, I, I'm outraged though, yes. But you say, cool, I mean, hey, well, I do that. That, that, I'm that way all the time. How else do you survive without, and naturally, I don't, I don't take any, you, you, you just let it go off your life. Fearless Fosdick walking down the street, and everybody's getting blown away, and he, he sees nobody. I mean, you do, in order to survive, you do that. If you so, you you, you don't bro, right now. It's 28 colon 30 time. It's a live show. This day, this moment, I've got the time, and I'm getting off something. You know, that's all. And I have an act to do it. You know, whatever, you, however you evaluate this pathetic uh, situation here. But I've been with these balloons a long time, and I do while I'm fed up. I do have a certain, uh, you know, feeling like the, the balloons in me are, are the same, so lay off a bit. Okay, thanks very much. I wonder what that was all about. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, can you hear me okay? You, well, yeah, but you, you look like a telephone. <laughs> <laughs> what are these, these? You're on the other end of that, though, yes. The, the Bush haters are in denial. You know, every, every time I go out, I see one of those uh, carry bumper stickers on the cars. It's like they, they can't admit that, uh, fortunately, their man lost. And it, it, the Bush haters are obsessed, absolutely obsessed. With We're all different. Uh, that doesn't, the, 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 I, I don't look at those people as thing. Well, you know, they should scrape them off, you know. I mean, it's, it's dead. It's a dead issue, you know. And all, there, there was a big bonfire for all those campaign posters, and I guess they missed it. So I don't know. what You don't ever talk about Osama bin Laden. You, he's the one 
who is responsible for the predicament that we're in. It's not uh, the fellow in the White House. Uh, somebody triggers the, re, uh, the the situation. Then you have somebody who actually stands up <coughs> out in front some way <coughs> and is willing to go for it. In whatever field it is, in, in some cases, it's very danger, dangerous, it would seem. Uh, first of all, a man should have been smothered in bed before anybody uh, found out that he was a baby. You know, I mean, the same thing with uh, anyone that caused... Aristotle, uh, Aristotle is a buddy soccer... Uh, uh, maybe, uh, what, what's his name? Alexander the Great, perhaps, should have been, I mean, smothered. What, 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 what kind of progress is this when you, have to, when, you, when, you, when you spread democracy in the Middle East by forcing it down the duck's throat, for Christ's sake? It, it's only going to come back and spit at you and, and be rotten somehow. I don't know. I mean, it's a bad metaphor, but, you know, it comes back. What you put out, you get back. It, I, it's just really terrible here because we're putting out this terrible, we always have because always when you're a republic, uh, ultimately to grow into an empire, You've got to be putting out a lot of, don't fuck with us, you know, and, and we're willing to put up our lives to prove to it that we're no, A number one. That's tribal, and we, and we buy into, uh, is World War II, would you have done so? Uh, I don't know. I, I, uh, uh, I had relatives. Uh, my father was too old. He had two or three kids, three. And, uh, you know, and I was only 12, so uh, an eight when it started, the war. So... But, we got in between, and my father was in World War I in the ambulance service. He carried bodies from Paris. He went to AOL to, to, just to look at the, the battle, because he, all he was doing, dealing with was dead bodies all the time. At least this is the story I make. He was in the ambulance corps, and he said he moved people. It must be that. Uh, I think we'd be good partitions, you know, in that sense. Uh, but uh, shooting and killing somebody, I don't know whether it's that difficult or not. Jesus Christ, I mean, you know... I suppose so. I certainly, I've never hurt anybody. I don't fight. Or, I'm just trying to say, you know, I, as someone who doesn't want anybody to be hurt, and do I want to hurt? And never re I never have hurt anybody. You know, uh, I've either run from it or run into it. You know, that's, that's really stupid. And or uh, uh, bluffed. That, that's my nature. Uh, and I've never got into it where you've got to do it. That's if you don't have to do it. You don't. In other words, if you don't have to stand up for yourself, you don't. You don't stand up for yourself. Well, how about standing up for yourself all of the time? What kind of a person is that? Is that Mike Tyson? You know, in the old days, who is that? Uh, is that George Foreman? You know, who who, who is that? Is that Valencia, the Russian, whatever his name is? Who is that that stands up for themselves? Is George Bush uh, standing up for himself? You bet he is. He's standing up for himself. He's the leader of the fucking country. That prick. Jesus, what a man we've got in there leading the thing. And we're ripe for him. We deserve him. Even though he stole the first one and maybe got those three million votes uh, by electronically fucking around anyway. With, uh, and who knows about those, those people in, in, in those booths in Ohio and stuff. And how they'll do anything to push the far right and, and, and the point of view of that. Because they know they're right with God, Jesus, ain't Christ Almighty. Oh, please. Please. It's silliness. Sure, I go for Christ too. I mean, you know, in a way. I mean, I don't know. I'm praying uh, to, out there to when when I when, when I'm stumped and stopped and, and there's nowhere to go. I don't. Who, who, you think I'm going to go to myself? <laughs> I do that all the time. You know, one way or the other. So who do I go to? Uh, some molecular ash that I know I'm going to go into uh, uh, and uh, pray and you know to. Oh Jesus! I mean, what do I say? First of all, I say, Oh Jesus! Usually. You know, for, in my case, and, and we weren't religious, you know. Oh, well, my grandmother, yes, but I mean, never, uh, my folks, oh, hey, both Christians, but Episcopalian choir even, because I was invited by a friend, and I was only a, 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 a you know, just a, a Protestant uh, Presbyterian, and I sang in it, and it was cool. You know, the robes and the uh, wafer, and the, hey, I don't know, there was something, Jesus Christ, I don't know. I thought it was ter terrific, the, the rituals, but just the same. I was a young man, and there was something that was calling me to the sensibility of something. I didn't know what, and I think, it ha I, think I got her right now, you know. Right, man.